Hi, second graders. Our Wednesday math video requires you to read the story beforehand. Reading video. Yes. What did I say? Math. We're not doing math. Oh my gosh, we're doing reading. We're doing reading. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Our reading video requires you to read the story. You don't have to read the story before you do math. Okay. Mm. The story this week has a long title, so I have to read it again. I already forgot. Mr. Putter and Tabby See the Stars. And it is on page 232 of your Big Blue Wonders book. So make sure you pause and go read the story for first and then come back to do this because you won't be able to fill out this entire thing unless you've read the story. Okay, because we're not gonna do the whole thing for you. No. So we're doing math? We're not doing math. We're doing reading, Mrs. Marquardt. Got it, I mean, got it. get with the program, lady. Ooh, all right, I'm yeah. ready. Here we go. Okay. So this week we're focusing on sequence of events, the order in which things happen in a story. First, next, then, and last are the transition words we usually use. And we want to start at the beginning of the story. How does the story about Mr. Putter and Tabby begin? So right at the beginning, we learn that Mr. Putter um, has trouble sleeping and he has a stomach ache because he had ate too many jelly rolls. Mm -hmm. right? I get it. I've been there. Yeah, I've done that. I have too. <laughs> Usually at Christmas time when there's too many Ooh. treats and I just can't huh? stop eating. Or Thanksgiving. Or, or Halloween yeah. or my birthday or Labor Day. Or yes. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime, really. <laughs> Anytime I have too many snacks, my stomach starts to hurt just like Mr. Putter in our story. Yes. So Mr. Putter has a stomach ache because he ate too many jelly rolls. <laughs> Mr. Putter has a stomach ache because... He ate too many. I love this story. It's just so cute. Yeah, jelly rolls. All right. And because he ends up having a stomach ache, he decides, I can't sleep. My stomach hurts. Let's do something else and mm -hmm. see if I can, you know, let the stomach ache go away before I can finally fall asleep. So he decides. He wants to go for a walk with his cat, Tabby, yeah. mm -hmm. and they're looking at the nighttime sky together. So he takes his cat for a nighttime walk. And they decide to look at the night sky. And he's telling his cat all about the night sky. And the cat loves it. So we have done the first two for you guys. We're not going to tell you the last two because mm -hmm. we want you to read the story on your own. And you have this book. So if you need to go back and maybe start at the spot where he takes his cat for a walk. And he's telling him about the sky. Go ahead and do that. Start there. And then look through the rest of the story so that you can tell us what happens after that and then what's the last the end final thing that happens in the story and you guys can write a sentence for each of these blank boxes good luck 